Imagine that I could take your heart and reduce it a thousand fold in size, the size of a grain of salt, and now you can do that in thousands and thousands and thousands of copies. How do we actually do something good with this? There might be a reason why we haven't been able to cure most of the human-specific diseases. MS, ALS, Parkinson's, autism, Huntington. There is a tremendous social cost for not having a solution to neurodegenerative diseases. A solution needs to be found to this problem rather quickly. New tools always leads to new discoveries. A Rumi's technology really is limitless. A little bit like a piece of Lego from which you can build castles, bridges, houses, and whatever you want. That, that is a modular technology. It's just dependent on your imagination as to how big and how beautiful what you want to build is. Rumi revolutionizes preclinical approaches to drug discovery by putting the human models in the center stage of the approach. You do the experiments directly in human models, which are basically human organs that you can generate by tens of thousands. You print them in a microchips, and you can take those microchips and screen for drugs. You name your organ based on the urgency of a given time and Rumi should be able to print it. What is the requirement right now in the big pharma market or in the drug market? Rumi will adapt the technology to that, like a compass pointing to the north. Globally, that means tackling human diseases for which we have no cure. Rumi has now used that platform to model Huntington's disease. People can have access to drugs at a fraction of the cost. This technology was discovered uh, at Rockefeller and patented at Rumi to generate something technologically that is much more than the sum of the parts. Rumi's team is exceptional in diversity of scientific expertise. Rumi is taking the first step in a long journey that's gonna change pharma and biotechnology and drug development in, in particular. It's a step forward with tremendous power and energy. I think that was a quantum leap here.